We thank our presenting sponsor, Bank of America, for its continued partnership with the Suffolk County Vanderbilt Museum. Bank of America is a major supporter of more than 2,000 cultural organizations across the country and is committed to supporting local partners like the Vanderbilt to ensure that neighborhoods remain strong and vibrant. Bank of America's support allows us to bring these intriguing pieces of Vanderbilt family history to you and your family in the comfort of your home through Moments in History. Among the many motorboats owned by William K. Vanderbilt II, none are quite as famous nor as exquisite as the Alva. Follow along with us and learn about this remarkable motor yacht. The Alva's story begins in 1931 in Kiel, Germany. Mr. Vanderbilt, having completed his first expedition around the world just a few short years ago, wanted a new motor yacht for traveling and needed a boat that could carry more supplies and go farther without needing to refuel. To that end, he hired the naval architecture firm Cox and Stevens to design his new yacht, and commissioned the Krupp Germania shipyard in Kiel to build it for him. At 264 feet in length, the Alva was easily the largest and most impressive ship Vanderbilt had ever owned. Apart from its size, no expense was spared to ensure that the ship boasted luxurious quarters that would make Mr. and Mrs. Vanderbilt feel right at home no matter where in the world they were. This included exquisite cabins for both Mr. and Mrs. Vanderbilt, a richly decorated parlor and card room, and even a dining room with a special table that could level itself in rough seas. Of course, the Alva was also technologically advanced for the time. Not only did she have modern amenities for her passengers, but also state-of-the-art electronics for the crew. This included a powerful radio that could communicate from almost anywhere in the world. The ship also had a workshop and storage space that allowed Mr. Vanderbilt's crew to collect and preserve the fish and other specimens for the museum. On July 7th, Mr. Vanderbilt's new ship was officially christened the Alva after Mr. Vanderbilt's mother, and she promptly began her vain voyage. Anchors up! Anchors up! All rows, well, we're off at last. Well, I'm delighted. We've waited so long for this day. So good luck. After sailing from Germany to Mr. Vanderbilt's home in Miami, Florida, the Alva began an eight-month-long expedition that would take her, her passengers, and her crew around the entire world. The Alva would see many different countries and landscapes on that expedition, brave high seas, and even serve as a host for different cultures and tribes that Mr. Vanderbilt welcomed aboard. And of course, as the main goal of the expedition, the Alva would bring back several hundred marine, animal, and cultural specimens from all over the world. For a decade, the Alva was a vital component of Mr. Vanderbilt's life and the life of the museum. In 1941, however, the United States entered into World War II following the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Mr. Vanderbilt, as a former lieutenant commander in the United States Naval Reserve, gifted the Alva to the U.S. Navy in order to aid in the war effort. Under the Navy, the Alva was refitted as a patrol gunboat and commissioned as the USS Plymouth. The Plymouth served as an escort ship for the inshore patrol squadron and traveled extensively along the East Coast. Sadly, in 1943, while off the coast of North Carolina, the Plymouth was struck by a torpedo from a German U-boat. The damage from the blast was critical, and the Elva sank under two minutes. Though she is no longer with us, the Elva remains an important part of the Suffolk County Vanderbilt Museum's history. Today, visitors can see the many artifacts that were brought back on her expeditions, and even some of the Elva's original furniture within the mansion itself. We hope you'll join us again soon for future videos on this one-of-a-kind museum.